Good morning and welcome you back to N Rajni Kiran my YouTube channel. In this video we are going to know about data warehousing and mining. In this data warehousing and mining subject initially we will know about the fundamentals of data mining. So when you look at the title data warehousing and mining first we will know and discuss about what is data and later we move what is information and then we come come to know about the new terms that we see in the title that is data warehousing and data mining coming to the definition of data data is viewed as a collection of figures facts and numbers when it is considered as such doesn't have any meaning that is the reason why we are going to call the data as a meaningless collection even coming to the definition of information information is termed as a processed data which is considered as such has a meaningful collection and that is the reason why we define information as a meaningful collection now let us look at the term data warehousing data warehousing is nothing but a collection of data from multiple sources so data warehouse and database looks similar but the database is a collection of interrelated data about one particular enterprise where data warehouse is also going to hold the data but it ho holds the huge amounts of data and that huge amounts of data it is going to get or collect from multiple sources like flat file transactional databases spatial database time series database etc so data warehouse is nothing but collection of data from multiple sources now let us look to the term data mining so when you look at the word data mining we feel it's something new term but the first point what i wanted to specify is data mining is nothing new point but it is a natural evolution of information technology so it is not a new word but it is the natural evolution that is it is a one of the functionality that has been naturally evolved from the information technology so to understand this statement or to prove that the data mining is a natural evolution of information technology let us look to the evolutionary path of it and let us come across what all the different functionalities people used in the evolutionary path of it so in this slide we have presented three bulletins to specify what all the functionalities that came in the evolutionary path of it the first functionality was data collection and database creation and the second functionality was data management where this management includes data storage and retrieval and database transaction processing and the third functionality when you look in the it path is advanced data analysis and this is the concept that we are going to know called data warehousing and data mining so now let us look to a flow chart which is going to make us understand the different functionalities that people have used in the evolutionary path of it so when you look at the first box which is located at the top c this is the functionality used by the people in the year 1960s and earlier so here in this year the people started collecting the data and keeping all this data at one place and that is that one place we term as a database so in these years people started collecting a related data and creating the database and keeping that related data in the database so earlier the people were using file processing system that is the concept which we have studied in dbms so interrelated data is collected and were kept in a file processing system and that was the database that people were using in 1960s now when you look to the second box in this flow chart this talks about the second functionality in the it evolutionary path that is database management system and this was the 
functionality used by the people in the year 1970s and early 1980s. So initially, in order to manage the data in the database, the people started using hierarchical model. Later on, they have used network model and later on, they shifted to the relational model where in the relational model, the data is kept in the tables. And in order to retrieve the data that is there in the table, they have used SQL, that is query language. And to better understand this relational model, another model has been evolved that is entity relationship model. So all these concepts comes under managing the database and these concepts have been used by the people in the year 1970s and early 1980s. Now let us move to the further blocks of the flowchart that is the third one towards the left hand side that is advanced database systems and these are the functionalities used by the people in the mid 1980s and present and then what type of advanced databases that people used were advanced data models, extended relational object relational models were used. So, and uh, advanced applications were also used in order to retrieve the data, spatial, temporal, multimedia, active stream and sensor, scientific and engineering knowledge based applications were used in order to retrieve the data from these advanced databases. Now we move to the next block that is advanced data analysis and this is the concept that comes under the title called data warehousing and data mining and this is the concept or functionality used by the people in late 1980s and present. And when you look at the other block that is web based databases, the, these functionalities were used by the people in 1990s and present. And coming to the next block, that is the functionality currently used by the people or new generation of integrated data and information systems. So this functionality is nothing but the integrational use of advanced databases, advanced data analysis and web-based databases. So all the advantageous terms that belongs to these functionalities are integrated together in the current years and the people started using this information system integrated data and information system to better understand this flowchart when you look to the evolution of the database system we come we get a clear picture saying that in 1960s what sort of uh, activities or functionalities people used were data collection database creation information management systems and network DBMS are the concepts that people used in 1960s. Now look to the second bulletin that is 1970s. In this year, people used relational data model, relational DBMS implementations. When you look at 1980s, RDBMS and advanced RDBMS and advanced data models like extended relational models, object oriented models, deductive models were used. Along with these models, application oriented DBMS like spatial, scientific and engineering DBMS were used in the year 1980s. Moving to 1990s, people started using data mining, data warehousing, multimedia databases and web databases. Finally, when you look at 2000, the people started using stream data management and mining, data mining and its application and web technologies and global information systems. So this or all the evolution of database technology. So in this video, we have covered the fundamentals of data mining.